the Fourth Council of Constantinople, A.D. 869-870. to This council, designated as the Eighth Ecumenical Council by Western canonists, is not found in any canonical collections of the Byzantines. In fact, its acts and canons are completely ignored by them. The council was called by Emperor Basil I, the Macedonian, with the support of Pope Hadrian II. It deposed and anathemized Photius, a layman who had been appointed as Patriarch of Constantinople, and then reinstated his predecessor, Ignatius. The council also reaffirmed the decisions of the Second Council of Nicaea in support of icons and holy images, and required the image of Christ to have a veneration equal to that of the Gospel book. The council began in the Cathedral of Hagia Sophia on 5 October 869. All who were willing to sign the Liber Satisfactionis, which had been sent by Pope Hadrian II, were admitted to the Council. An authentic copy of the Acts of the Council was sent to Rome. Anastasius, the librarian, on Pope Hadrian's orders, made a word-for-word -word translation. Here's part of the account. The Holy great and universal synod, which was assembled by God's will and the favor of our divinely appointed emperors, Basil and Constantine, the holy friends of Christ, in this royal and divinely protected city and in the most famous church bearing the name of holy and great wisdom, declared the following. The word of one nature with the Almighty God and Father, is he who established heaven like a vault and fixed the ends of the earth and the place of all other things. He made it to be contingent and he rules, preserves and saves it. He says through the voice of the prophet Isaiah, Lift up your eyes to heaven, because heaven has been fashioned like smoke, but the earth shall wear out like a garment. Its inhabitants shall perish like them, but my salvation shall last forever, and my justice shall not fail. He was made like us for our sake, and is established on earth heavenly justice, and said, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. He said to all who believed in him, If you continue in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. <laughs>